Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, you guys know the drill. If you guys please smash that like button, I really appreciate it. If you guys could leave a comment down below, I don't care what it is. It super helps the channel out. It's Monday morning, bright and early. We're back in the shop. Today we have something kind of special in the shop. We have my 1968 Chevy C10. It's a two wheel drive, long bed, pickup truck. Um, this week is my birthday on the 10th, so Thursday is my birthday, and I treated myself to a week of working on my own projects. Now, I scheduled this week um, about a month ago, so I've been super excited, so I've been kind of cramming um, jobs in everywhere else on the calendar except for this week, so I do have my open sign on, so we are still technically open, so I'm sure I'll have walk-ins for U-Haul and people coming in bugging me, seeing when they can get on the schedule, estimates, all that good stuff, but pretty much for the most part, the main focus is to work away on the 1968 C10. Now I picked this truck up a few years ago. Um, I do have a vlog kind of covering this truck and some of the updates that we did do. So if you actually search C10 on the channel, um, you guys will find some information on this truck, but I'll kind of go over it a little bit quickly again. Um, from what I even remember, it's been a while. It's been sitting out back for a little while. Um, but the idea behind this truck was not to do a full restoration, but to just fix it up enough to be reliable to cruise down the road and, uh, and drive in and uh, uh, make everything function, but also make it kind of look more like a vintage shop truck. So we are not doing a full restoration. We are not fixing every dent and ding. We are not fixing every rust spot. We are not fixing everything. It is okay for this vehicle to be a little bit old, run down, a little bit beat up and just, um, retain that vintage um, patina look now unfortunately somebody's already kind of done a little paint job on this thing if it all looked like this i would actually be pretty pumped but originally when i got this truck i started body working it and uh um, we got about halfway done and uh, i decided to put a halt on the project this was actually going to be the lamborghini lime green um, paint color that we used on the del sol so when this project stopped the del sol got that color so um this um we decided to um put a halt on uh, maybe one day we'll restore this truck but for now we're not going to restore this truck um it's just too much work to do it right it's going to take way too much time way too much money and uh this to me is not the truck that i want to fully restore um now doing what we are going to do to this will actually preserve the truck quite well so if one day we do decide that we want to preserve it or we do want to get rid of it it is actually worth something so you can see we even fix up the tailgate you can still see there's a little bit of dents right here that we didn't completely fix but we did fix it enough to get the chevrolet letters um pretty flat this tailgate was completely bashed in we did remove the rear bumper and we went with a roll pan Rear bumper was pretty beat up, so we went with the fact uh, a roll pan. Um, same thing with the front. Front bumper was really beat up, so we got rid of it and we fit in a flat roll pan for just a really clean, simple look. We did shave some of the trim holes on this side. Um, there was lots of mirror holes, so we went ahead and welded all those up. Um, on the inside, um, the seat's pretty intact um someone's kind of redone it nothing crazy um, there is a new dash pad sitting on top here um, this old one's cracked um, i did put a new uh, ignition in it so we do have new keys um, it is a small block 350 with an automatic that somebody's put in um, we do got to get rid of this steering wheel get something different i did put in a brand new fuel tank I also have the grommet, so we will be installing the grommet. It's on a rubber coupler right here, so that's why it's bending. So we do have a brand new grommet that we'll be installing after we paint it. Um, we'll be getting rid of all this rubber. So what color we are doing this is a satin hot rod black. So nothing crazy. It's gonna help hide a lot of the existing damage, dents, dings, scrapes, rust, all that stuff. Um, a really simple color, cheap color, but yet subtle and look good. And it'll kind of go with that shop truck patina look that we're going for i did get brand new rubber for the front and rear glass so today we're going to go ahead and cut these rubbers up and we're going to pull the glass out same thing with this we're going to take a razor blade and we're going to box knife and we're going to go ahead and cut the rubber we're going to pull this glass out put it somewhere safe this cowl is loose we went ahead and washed it up 
um, got all the dirt and grime off of it Friday before we left. That way I could stay in the shop and dry all weekend. Um, I really love the look of the 67, 68, and 69 um, front end. The hood looks it's more slanted. Um, the 70, 71, and 72 hoods are kind of like a straight up and down. So I really love this hood. So I'm super pumped on that. Of course, I do uh, kind of wish it was a short bed. We could do a conversion or we could um, find a short box at some point. But you know what? The long bed doesn't look that bad. And the long bed's leaking needs some love too. And this would be a great little truck to throw parts in and stuff. So um, Mikey and I, about, um, about eight months ago, we went through the motor. We did cap rotor. Um, we did spark plugs, wires. We had oil. We did um, some new belts. Um, we did transmission fluid. We fixed a couple leaks. Um, we did the coolant. Um, we just cleaned it up a lot. Put a brand new battery in it. So nothing crazy, but we got it to be turnkey and um, we did put brand new rear brakes on the back all new drums um, the fronts we haven't touched those yet but they seem to be in operable condition everything works really good um, it's got plenty of power um, so pretty pumped so um, of course we haven't gone for a maiden voyage down um, the freeway or anything but we have taken this down to the gas station to fuel it up and stuff and it seems to be operating just fine just as it should so there are a couple things I want to do to it yet, but right now it is has been um, pretty reliable to start it up every time. Um, I would like to um, fix the power steering pump. I believe it is leaking and it's squealing a little bit. So once it loses its fluid, this thing's really hard to turn. So it could be the steering box itself, but I'm hoping it's the pump. It does appear to be the pump. So we'll probably put a new pump in it and go from there um i got like i said i got brand new rubber for this vehicle for the front and rear glass so after paint we'll uh reinstall the glass with the brand new rubber um i don't have the door rubber yet but we will as well get a kit for that as well so that way everything's sealed up working good um we do have some new emblems um some refurbished emblems that we did for the c10 on the side and the chevy bow tie as well as the front emblem um we don't have all the trim for this truck yet so um, we're not going to stress about that right now we did get a raptor liner kit for the back so this bed is in kind of rough shape i don't normally like doing raptor liner or bed liner in my own vehicles but i do believe that this truck um, could benefit from it so we'll go ahead and after the truck is already painted which probably won't be this week at some point we'll get it back in and we'll go ahead and wire wheel sand the crap out of this thing and we'll go ahead and apply a raptor liner on the inside we're not going to come up over the rails we're going to leave those clean but we do want to put raptor liner on the inside of the truck bed to um, pretty much preserve that rust area and stuff so super pumped super excited to have this in the shop we do have brand new tail light lenses side markers for the front and rear um, so um, all the chrome's polished up as far as like the windshield wipers, the door handles, the emblems, everything like that. So once it's all painted and satin black, uh, looking really clean, we have a lot of nice trim to put on this truck that will kind of help bring it to life. So it won't look like just an old farm truck that was sitting out in the field. So this thing will come back to life pretty quick. Pretty simple old trucks. I love these old trucks. So um, I don't really know um how far i'm gonna get but i'm kind of crossing my fingers that we can get it painted this week um i don't like rushing my own projects though so um we do need to try to get it at least to the point where it can get painted so worst case scenario we got to come in and paint it next week that's okay as long as it's in the booth and ready to go but the goal would be to have this painted by the end of the week but if it doesn't quite happen as long as it's ready it'll be okay because we do probably have a few hours next week that we could probably get it sprayed now I've been kind of pondering over the idea all weekend of not only just doing the outside, but I would like to um, prep the underhood, the engine compartment, the firewall, the core support, all that, as well as the door jams. I'd like to actually remove the rear, the seat, the dash pad, the cluster, the glove box face, and uh, visors. And I would actually like to. Um, get the entire inside of this cab painted the dash the floor 
the doors, the door jams, as well as the exterior. So I don't really know how that's gonna time out as far as my timeline this week, but if we stay focused, I do believe that we could probably have it ready to paint by Friday. If not, then we might need Friday to continue to help prep and get it blown off, get it in the booth. And uh, there probably won't be much things to tape off besides the engine, the wheels and tires, because um, everything else could um, have overspray, black overspray on it, it wouldn't really matter. So um, anyways, I do believe that if we spend today coming in and uh, fixing up a couple spots, I do want to get this trunk uh, door key lock open. We're not going to do anything about the rust. We're going to just clean that up. We're going to kill the rust as much as we can and just get this thing ready to paint. So um, we do have a few trim holes on it, but I don't think I'm going to do, do anything with that. Um, there's just really no point in uh, going too crazy because we could sit here and try to band-aid up every little tiny little thing on this truck and at the end of the day it's still not a fully restored truck to fully restore this truck would take thousands and thousands of dollars and uh, hours hundreds of hours and uh we're just not going to do that so at least at this point so by no means is this going to be a half-assed project we're doing we're going to bring this truck back to life we're going to make this truck have a purpose so um, we would even like to do like a vintage style nitro auto lab um door logo for the for the doors and we could actually use it for like a shop truck I and mean, we might even be able to use it for like a tax write-off as well so um be a good little sunday cruiser take it down cruise the beach get some ice cream you know everybody likes a good old classic chevy so anyways super pumped on this truck guys tell me what you guys think in the comments i got brand new headlights led conversion for the for the lights we're going to do a little bit of a, a twist on the truck and of course we have um the front roll pans and i do have a stillen lower valance that's going to go on the front and i also have the stillen license plate frame that we might use on the rear as well we're doing kind of a little bit of a fun twist on this truck going to kind of make it a little bit of a little bit of a street truck i guess so super pumped um tell me what you guys think in the comments so like i said satin hot rod black on the entire exterior we're going to do a wrapper liner bed liner on the inside of the bed we're going to get the entire inside painted um, we still only have one door panel um, we'll probably do a different color on the interior steel door panel but once we get the other one um, we still need a steering wheel um, we have brand new rubber for the glass we're going to get brand new rubber for the door for the inner and the window tracks and uh, all our trim is polished up uh, windshield wipers emblems uh, we got brand new lenses and lights for all the lighting so super pumped so it's a 1968 chevy c10 it's a long bed two-wheel drive um, it does have a factory four link suspension in the back um, and there's actually somebody took the springs out and put in some airbags it seems to ride okay um, i don't really prefer like how they did it but it's very simple um, there are um, some valves inside the truck bed itself. I'll probably relocate those, but there are a valve on each side that will control each bag. Um, one had leaked when I got it and I fixed the leak and uh, it's been sitting for about eight months and they, it is still sitting perfectly how I left it. So they are not even leaking. So super pumped on that. Tailgate opens and closes just fine. So for what it is, it's all intact, it's all there. By no means is it perfect, but super pumped on this. So the goal today is to figure out if there's any more holes that I wanna weld up, anything I wanna body work, I could do that spot prime. But the goal today is to start prepping the exterior of this vehicle for maybe the next couple days. And then maybe on Wednesday, be prepping the engine compartment in the inside as well as Thursday and uh, hopefully by friday have this thing in the booth ready to paint so we'll see how far we get so we also have the 07 honda crv inside the shop um i got it lowered down a little bit right now so we do want to get this k24 engine replaced in this vehicle but i'm not exactly sure if i have the time this week to mess with it um i might dedicate an hour hour to two hours each night this week to try to see or at least a few of the nights this week try to see if I can't at least get the engine and cradle out of this thing that way 
next week maybe I can start getting it in, but we'll see what kind of time we have. So anyways, I appreciate all you guys watching. Let me know what you think of the C10 project. I'm excited to finally get this thing back on the road. The whole reason we're kind of doing this thing is to just, um, we have a bunch of projects right now. I know it looks like I'm jumping around, um, but this is one that's quick and easy to do. And I believe it'll take about a week to two weeks total to complete. And uh, it'll be another vehicle that we can add to the fleet that is turnkey, ready to go at all times. And uh, uh, we can move past this. I don't wanna move on to the next project until this quick, easy one is done. So we got this, and then we have a very special project that I will be revealing to you guys here soon, as soon as the CRV is also done and out of here. Anyways, like this video, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Rah! Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bronzo Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't trust me I'm too lucky, look at me, look at you, what you see, what you do